Ashley's back. Mm -hmm. I took the dogs outside this morning. I still uh -huh. have my snow shovel out on the front porch. I was going to put it away today, but I thought, well, should I put it away? What it's do I do? one of those, if I put it away, I'm going to need it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, I'm, and we might, right? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to ask you to leave your shovel out there so okay. you won't need it. Right. So here's a look at what's going on for today. We have been tracking some spotty showers over the past few hours here, so it still has that damp feeling outside. But notice that most of the rain has pushed out of here, and we're just dealing with cloudy skies right now, and things should be drier as we go through this afternoon. Now, of course, the rain and the milder temperatures, not good news for ski sundown. There are a few skiers out there, and as you can see, we're not seeing uh, much grass, so they're trying desperately again to keep the snow on these trails, but when you get temperatures like this, it's very tough. We're at 40 degrees in Hartford. It's 38 in Waterbury, 45 here in New Haven, and we're at 43 degrees in New London. So it is relatively mild outside. It may not feel that way because it is rather cloudy, but technically for this time of year, we should be in the 30s. And here's a look at what's going on with our hour by hour. You can see through the rest of this afternoon, things will be dry, but it's going to be very tough to shake the clouds. As we go through the overnight hours, it'll remain cloudy. We could see some areas of fog develop. Uh, tomorrow, it's a nice dry start to the weekend. As you can see, the clouds are going to hang tough, but optimistically, I do think we could see an occasional break of sunshine, which will push temperatures back into the low and mid 40s. Again, running a little above average for this time of year. It's Sunday where things turn a little more interesting. So as we go from Saturday night into Sunday morning, we are going to see some rain moving in. There could be some wet snowflakes mixing in. This is going to be heavily dependent on surface temperatures, and that's going to be the tough part about Sunday is that there's a lot of inconsistency with this is it looks more likely that you would see those wet snowflakes closer to the Massachusetts state line, whereas if you're closer to the shoreline, this really could be a mostly rain event. So watch as we had through the day on Sunday, that snow starts to switch over to mostly rain, maybe a little bit of sleet mixing in in some of those higher elevations. But Again, some of our other computer models show, okay, rain to start. Maybe eventually it mixes in with some wet snowflakes as we go through Sunday night into Monday morning. So at this point, I would expect a little bit of everything from Sunday morning all the way through Monday morning. At times, you're going to see raindrops. At times, you're going to see some wet snowflakes mix in. And unfortunately, at times, especially the farther north you are in the higher elevations, this could be a decent amount of wet snow. And that's where I would expect maybe some accumulating snow. I don't know that we're going to get any black blockbuster amounts. In fact, I don't think we're going to get any blockbuster amounts here, but more nuisance snow. So let me jump to our eight-day shoreline forecast where Saturday is mild, a decent day, mostly rain at the shoreline Sunday, but could mix in with some wet snowflakes Sunday night into Monday morning, and that would certainly cause some delays. Now inland, we could see rain mixing with snow during the day, but certainly changing over to snow as we go from Sunday night into Monday morning. So Monday morning could certainly be a bit tricky, but at least most of next week looks quieter.